Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Mohammed and we continue our uh, training series with the uh, Elastic Certified Observability Engineer exam. Uh, today we will cover a new topic. We will uh, jump to uh, metrics and we will see in the first uh, part the installation of Elastic Agent and uh, how to, config to configure to collect uh, the metrics. A quick history about the uh, Elastic stack. In the past, we used to use uh, bits. Uh, bits is light, lightweight agent. We have a different type uh, of, of bits. If you want, for example, to collect uh, logs and metrics or logs from, from Windows, you have to install WinLogBit. Uh, from uh, Linux, you have to install FileBit, metrics, metric bit, and so on and so forth. Um, like to have, you have to install multiple agent to be able to collect a different uh, kind of uh, logs and, and metrics and informations and data. But now we have uh, we have one agent which is uh, Elastic Agent, uh, and you have different modules. Uh, you have to uh, just enable a module and configure it, and you will be able to cover everything. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's jump to the our uh, lab environment and see how to do the uh, installation. So we did the uh, our environment is up and running as we did in the previous videos. If you did not do do it yet, uh, feel free to jump back to the uh, previous videos and see how we do the uh, uh, configuration. Now, uh, to be able to install uh, Elastic Agent, we have the first thing that we need to do is the fleet uh, or a fleet server. Fleet server is a centralized uh, management place where we can uh, manage not only the installation and an installation of uh, the Elastic Agent, but also you you can here uh, monitor your agent, see the performance of the agent, and also add, uh, as I mentioned previously, the modules and modification of modification of the configuration and so on and so forth. So like a lot of things that we can do uh, from here, we cannot do it in the beats. Uh, uh, like uh, in the in the if you still use in a bit or in the past like we don't have a fleet server like we cannot manage the uh, the bits uh, from kibana which is not the case for uh, for uh, for elastic agent uh, fortunately now we have a fleet server we have visibility we have everything so to do so uh, to do the installation of the fleet server you click on the add the fleet and here we have quick starts. Uh, here you choose the um, the IP address for your uh, uh, fleet server. You click continue. It will redirect you or to the sec you you have the second step. Um, again, here you have the uh, the documentation. Uh, feel free to access it and also like during the work or your lab or the exam, you will have access to the um, to the uh, uh, to the official documentation. The installation of the uh, fleet server. We have multiple ways. Uh, it's up uh, on your OS. Uh, me, uh, I'm in Mac, so I will go with, with this command line. If you are in Windows, Debian, Red Hat, Linux, feel free to choose the right uh, command. So copy, I come here, so I, I paste. It will take a few, let's say a few seconds to download uh, the package first. And uh, right after that, we uh, will start the um, uh, the installation of the uh, uh, of our uh, fleet server and we will see the updates uh, here once the installation and or the download and the installation of the fleet server is done we will see a, a green uh, flag from here like we can we can move on uh, we give it here is a few seconds again to finish the download here it's uh, now it's extracting the extracting the packages here the password and uh, yes yes, yes. <clears throat> now it will take a few seconds to do the installation of the uh, of the package if everything is okay we will see from here and from here if we have any uh, warning or if we have any issue we will see it uh, immediately here in the uh, uh, in the in the logs of uh, our uh, uh, fleet server. All right. So here it's okay. It's generating the certificate and uh, trying to reach out to the fleet server. 
Perfect. So here, successfully uh, enrolled the uh, Elastic Agent and also the, uh, the Fleet Server is uh, successfully installed. As you can see here, the Fleet Server is uh, uh, successfully installed. Now, if now after that, we have to install the agent, right? If your environment is like mine, you will see already the agent is here. When you install the, the server or the fleet server, you have already uh, an, an elastic agent installed here. But if you want to do a deployment in another machine, like a deployment of the elastic agent, you click here, continue enrolling, and you will have here to choose the policy. We will see in a second the different policy and how we can create a policy. You choose the policy and here you choose the command line. Me, for example, if I choose and if I run the this command here, uh, you will see in a second it, it will generate an error. I said, look, uh, Elastic Agent already enrolled and installed in this machine. So this will generate an error. If you do it in an, if I do it in another machine, then it will work uh, normally, but in the same machine since, as let me close it first, since as you can see, uh, uh, the Elastic uh, Agent is already installed here and uh, uh, it's up and running and healthy as you can see here, we have some details about the CPU, the memory, uh, last time, uh, like the uh, activity. If I click uh, again, so let's, let's discover together first the, um, uh, the fleet server so let's start from the or from the agent you will have uh, your uh, your agent you can filter the agent based on whatever like you want to see just the healthy or unhealthy agent uh, you can you can choose from here or you can uh, filter by tags by policy and so on and so forth now if i want to do the agent or if i want to go to the agent policy I, and this this really really important so now me, for example, when I deploy the this agent, uh, it's using fleet server policy. So let's see what we have in uh, fleet server policy. So if we, if I click, uh, as you can see, it's uh, or we have three integrations. We have fleet server, we have OS query manager, and we have system. Let's see what we have here in in a system. So by default, so this redirects you to the uh, to the integration. So we was here in the fleet but now we are here in integration so if you go or if you click on integration it will redirect you to this page and here you will be able to read about this integration here for example system this is description this is what is sending this is for example the default uh, dashboard that's coming by by default with this uh, with this integration here the integration uh, policies the assets settings api reference like everything like whatever you need and you want to learn about about uh, this integration you will be able to find it here right let's go back to the let's go back to the fleet server and go back again to the uh, policy and click here on the policy and here let's click or let's see in the uh, this is in this um, integration what we have so as you can see by default um, we have we are collecting the logs uh, of our system we are collecting the authentication log the syslog as well here the different uh, paths like you can remove one you can uh, you can add another path from here uh, and also you have uh, more advanced options uh, for the log collection um, for us we don't need the logs for now but and also this is for windows we don't need it but we need a matrix right uh, in the in the exam you will get an, a question about this topic like install elastic agent and enable uh, the matrix right so how to do so you go to the you go to your you go to your agent uh, you add an integration here it's a system integration and here we have uh, the configuration of the matrix. So you click, for example, here, and here you will see what you are collecting. So for for, for example, we are disabling system core matrix, but we are getting CPU, we are getting disk, we are getting uh, file system, and, and so on and so forth. And like here, mit load metric memory network. As you can see, it's really easy, like to enable and disable. And for every, uh, for example, here, uh, uptime matrix, or yeah, uptime matrix like here you have 
uh, more advanced options like to, to configure and to specify what you want to add, what you want to remove, you have everything from here. All right, uh, how to do it? So let's go back to our fleet. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't save the uh, I didn't save the configuration. Let's let me go back here. I will disable the windows and the and uh, the windows and the uh, locks like this. I will save it from here. I will save. Give it a few seconds. It's refreshing. Here we go. It's updated and now we are collecting uh, just the uh, metrics. Right now, let's say this is my host or this is my uh, this is my uh, agent so this is the details that i have and this is the list of integration that that i have so now i want to assign a new policy yes on the fleets for example so here you choose a name or you go here first to and you define your policy first so here agent policy you create your new policy so here uh, we call it exam lab for example and here uh, here what he's saying is collect the system logs and metrics by default if i click on uh, advanced i will have um, here for example i just select the uh, collect agent metrics and I create the policy. The policy will be here. The new policy will be here. So give it a few seconds and it will be perfect. So if I click here, I don't have any uh, integration. I click on integration and here I search for system. And here I have this system. So if if you get a question like about, I don't know, about uh, Azure or GCP or AWS. So you have the integration from here even you you scroll down or you search by type for example here the azure you click and you will have all the integration for azure and so on and so forth for us we want to do system so we have the system i will click on add the integration like this and here i specify as i show previously that i don't know i don't want to collect the logs and i don't need a windows i want just the uh, the metric and i click here on the metric if i want to specify something then i can do it from here if not i just uh, uh here for example assign it to uh, to a host if i uh, um, uh, if i have a new host or an existing one and here you save and continue so it will take few seconds to refresh here i will do it later because i already uh, integrated right so now we do the installation of our uh, elastic agent now let's make sure that we are collecting the right or that we are getting the metrics right so let's uh, make sure that we are getting the metrics from uh, our agents right so if i click here <clears throat> here for example logs uh, logs are coming from here and if i want to go to discover for example and here logs if i come here if i open i i can't see on second i will just filter out this one yeah we have a metric here let me remove this filter here we go we have our metrics here is coming right so the metrics are coming uh, here in real time as you can see the logs this is the first place to check if you are getting your metrics or no also uh, when we deploy the uh, when we deployed the uh, the elastic agent we as we saw the uh, the system integration is coming with a default or built-in dashboard so if i see here for example metric system so here this is a built-in dashboard uh, to come with uh, with our fleet server or with our elastic agent and here you have all the uh, all the details as you uh, as you can see here 
All right, um, with that being said, uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any question and uh, we'll see you in the next video.